What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovetisich from Pixel Feet here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exclude people on Facebook ads in order to get more sales. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So one thing that I have noticed after doing tons of account audits, tons of coaching for you guys, and going through uh, you know client accounts for uh, the agency side of things, I've noticed that most people don't know how to really take advantage of the exclusions that you can do with Facebook in order to drive your sales up and get uh, a better conversion rate in your ads. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through through some examples how I do it and how you can take advantage of it, whether it's drop shipping or whether you have different brands. So let's get started. So I've got a test campaign that I created here. And let's say that you have a store, you're starting out and you're doing drop shipping. Well, in the, in case, of, uh, in the case of drop shipping, you wanna get rid of people who know like AliExpress and Alibaba who might you know, go out there and buy the stuff directly from China. And you know, the people that, that, that just wanna get a cheap deal, right? Um, and the other thing that this does when you're excluding people is you get rid of the haters in your comments and all that stuff that know about AliExpress and Alibaba and all those companies, right? And you gotta remember, when it comes to drop shipping, this is for you to test a product to see if it works, and then eventually you wanna turn it into a brand. You don't wanna just drop ship a bunch of generic products. This is for you to test. So this is how I recommend you do this. So when you go to your detailed targeting, you go in here and then you're gonna target the people that you're targeting. So let's say uh, cat people, right? You're, you're selling a cat toy or something. So I love my cat, right? And then you're gonna go here, you're gonna hit exclude, right? And what do we need to get rid of? Well, we wanted to get rid of the people that know about it. So we will do AliExpress, right? And I know this by heart, by heart because I've done this for so long, they already know most of them are gonna come up. So AliExpress, obviously, you wanna get rid of Alibaba. So like, which is the parent company for AliExpress, right? You wanna get rid of anything related to drop shipping. So you will type drop shipping, right? And it's gonna come up right here. You will get rid of eBay because people who are on eBay are looking for deals all the time. And make sure you choose interest and non-employer. That's very important. So you guys can see there's tons of eBay interests in here. So make sure you select all of them, right? So let's say this is, this is the ones that you can come top of your head, but there's more out there. So I like to use my, you know, Connectio um, app here, which can pull all the interest from Facebook. So we will go in here and type it out, make sure we don't miss anything out. And we're going to choose anything that's related to drop shipping in general, whether it's behaviors, whether it's interest, anything like that. So there you go, 22.7 million. So let's add that there. View audiences, we'll add it here, show suggestions. And you guys, you guys don't, don't have to use this tool, but I love using it because that way I can get rid of anything that's related to people in the industry. So you're gonna get rid of, look at this, affiliate marketing, AdWords, Alibaba, you know, and influencers and all this stuff, e-commerce. You wanna get rid of all these people, entrepreneurs, right? So I go in here and I choose all the ones related to it, right? You pick AdWords, affiliate marketing, whoever this guy is, Alibaba, Amazon, see Amazon, even think about that, business page admins, digital marketing, e-commerce, eBay, uh, you don't wanna get rid of engaged shoppers, but you guys get ideas. I'm not gonna go through all the all of them, but uh, maybe not entrepreneurship, but page admins, maybe. I don't know. It's up to you what to choose Mercado Libre, that's like an Alibaba uh, in South America. That's pretty big too. Supply chain, Shopify. You know, get rid of all this stuff wholesale. That's a good one. See, and then you go in here, uh, show select it, right? Select all, apply all to ad set, and it's gonna go to the next screen. And then I'm gonna grab my interest, I'm gonna copy manually because it's just quicker for me. Oops, copy, and I go back here, and then I'm just gonna plug them in. And if it's already in there, it's gonna replace it. Just like that. So now we got rid of the headaches that come with uh, drop shipping in general, right? All right, so let's say now you have a product that is organic, that is targeted towards healthy people, right? People who are like vegan or super organic. So we will put, you know, our interests here or whatever, you look like audience. And then we just got to think, we got to put two and two together. So who do we want to get rid of that we might show the ads to when it's not necessary because they're not going to click on it. They're not gonna be into it. Cause you gotta remember, people change throughout time. 
right? So a lot of people that started their Facebook accounts, you know, they're not the same person they were five years ago, maybe three years ago, not even a year ago. People change, everything changed. And you got to remember, I mean, even though the behavioral aspect of how they browse and how they do everything, it changes. You got to remember whatever they liked back in the day, still part of their profile. So if Facebook picks that up, they're going to try to use it to their advantage and their targeting. So right, again, if we're doing organic, who are we going to get rid of? Who are we going to exclude? Well, that's pretty easy. Think about it. Burger King, right? We're going to get rid of everything that's fast food related. So, you know, McDonald's, right? I mean, think about it, just those restaurants. And then if you want to get crafty, where do we go in here? We do the same thing. We type in a, you know, restaurant, uh, fast food restaurant, and it's going to give you all the restaurants related to it. And I can just grab all my audiences here and start from there. Look how many Burger Kings we have here. And then show selected, click all, and then show suggestions. And it's going to give me tons of suggestions. Remember, guys, I mean, you guys can get a free trial for this tool, by the way, and a lifetime deal with my, my link. And the link will be in the description. So it's in here and just grab the ones that you think are related to it. So cheeseburgers, you know, Domino's pizza, fast food. You guys get the idea. I'm not going to grab all of them, but you guys get the idea. And then we click all here, apply all to the ad set. And then the rest of the process is the same. We grab it right here. See how, how easy this makes it instead of you going by one by one, trying to put it in there. I mean, boom, just like that, right? And boom, now you got all your interest in there. All right, so let's flip the, the script here. Let's say you're targeting people who are into hunting, right? So ideally, who are you gonna get rid of? Who do you wanna get rid of that's gonna be annoying on your ads or we're gonna click on your ads to waste time and money of your money because they, they wanna hate on it or they want to just see what you're doing or whatever. Well, you would get rid of anybody who's into like animal rights or you know being vegan and stuff like that, right? So let's say you will type in vegan and you can do it the all boring way where you go one by one trying to figure it out. Or you can use connector here and just type in vegan, make it easy for yourself, right? And go in here and select the ones you want to get rid of. So in this case, I'm just going to pick a few, but obviously you want to look at them, you want to read them, make sure it's related, obviously. And then grab some here, uh, you know, and then show selected. And then you grab all. And then you always want to do suggestions because you want to see what else is out there that might be related. So, you know, uh, like, for example, you don't want to get rid of organic food because hunting is related to organic food. But you want to get rid of the annoying you know, <laughs> vegan people, not hating on vegans, but I'm talking about, you know, related to ads. So you go to show selected, you select all of them show suggestions oops so not sorry apply all to ad set and just like that you're going to grab your interest once again you're going to copy go back to your ad set and do it the easy way and you paste it in here and boom you're ready to go so now here's a golden nugget for the day you want to get rid of the cheap people in your ads let's say you have a, a product that you have moderately priced or it's on a little bit on the higher end and you want to get rid of the people who's like that's too expensive that's not affordable blah 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 you want to get rid of them this is exactly who you're going to exclude out of your ads so let's say you're targeting luxury goods i don't know luxury luxury goods Here's a, the, the mistake that most people make when they're targeting for something expensive, they, especially in fashion, they tend to, to target like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or any of those brands, Chanel. Here's the issue with that, Rolex, is that most people who likes those brands on Facebook and stuff like that are actually broke people who are not going to buy your stuff, believe it or not. So you want to get rid of those people. So I like to start with this one right here. Bargain, I can't even pronounce that, Bargain Hunters. So that's a good one, right? Because you want to get rid of people who are looking for deals, who are looking for cheap stuff. And again, you can mix all the AliExpress and all that stuff in there as well. But I like to get rid of the Groupon, Bargain Hunters and stuff like that. So when I use Connectio, I start with that one. So I go in here and I type in Bargain Hunters. And I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that's my horrible accent. Deal with it. <laughs> so I will grab this, uh, show selected, add show suggestions, and then work my way from there, right? So you want to get rid of, bar you know, stuff like this, bargain hunt, Black Friday sell, Black Friday shopping, buy one, get one free, coupons, deal of the day, discount stores, discounting, 
discount and allowances. Uh, don't get rid of engaged shoppers. Uh, you know, flea market, garage sale, you know, home bargains, all this like cheap stuff, the cheap stores, marshals, uh, you know, you don't want to get rid of online shopping, uh, public auction, you don't want to get rid of that, you know, but just look through it. TJ Maxx, you want to get rid of that. Thrift shop, you want to get rid of that, you know. Uh, but you don't want to get rid of vintage or vintage clothing, right? Because people buy that stuff. That, that can be very expensive stuff. And then once again, you click show selected, select all, show suggestions. And here's where you really, really got to dig. Uh, so let's go in here. Saving, you know, raw stores. And the list goes on and on and on. So you guys get the idea. Uh, you want to get rid of, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Like Groupon, right? I, I'm sure it's in there somewhere. So you apply all to ad set. We grab this right here. And once again, you guessed it. You copy this. And we plug it in here to get rid of the cheap people. And then you can, you know, add in there the other stuff. Like I just said Groupon, right? Anything you can think of, right? I don't even think it's on there. Is Groupon even a targeting? It? It's in targeting anymore. Yeah, it's not even an interest anymore. So that's why it didn't come up. But this is how you get rid of all the cheap people. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and Facebook marketing in general, digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the links right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.